Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Gamer and we are returning to Rule the Waves 2 where we are playing as the United States trying to take over the world really and uh, trying to get into carrier warfare which I think will be very exciting. So uh, we've just in the last couple of episodes redesigned a couple of our ships. We are rebuilding uh, quite a couple of them. Uh, we are also constructing the Arizona class which is going to be one of our best and um, battleships going forward. So that's going to be very nice. Uh, we've also refitted two of our Delaware classes. I think we can rebuild uh, this ship as well. So that's simply going to give it a little bit better fire control. We are running a deficit of 3 million. We do have 11 millions in the bank. So um, I think that's going to be fine because in just two months uh, we'll have one of the Arizonas coming online and that will uh, save us about 3 million of uh, building costs. So I think that's going to be fine. Let's take the turn over here and have a brief look at the intelligence over here. Not really that much to see so I think that's going to be a fine except that Great Britain is building up new light cruisers so we'll have to keep an eye on that and it seems like we've been caught in France so we are gonna of course make our agent a national hero that's gonna increase the tensions with France and give us a little bit of prestige which is gonna be the money at the end Ooh, and the Soviet Union has stolen technology in shipboard aircraft operations from us so they are trying to get carriers and we should definitely increase tensions with the Soviets as well. So that's going to be interesting. New Japanese torpedo bomber. That is something that we have to keep an eye on. 20 millimeter cannons in France. That's interesting. A couple of new ships. Italy is getting a new battle cruiser. That is important. Also Japan is getting another battle cruiser. And actually the Soviets are getting the first battleships. Uh, whereas we are getting some delays. That's not quite as good. So yeah, let's keep an eye on that. Even the Arizona, we haven't gotten that yet. So we will be very tight on money, I think, very soon. Uh, but let's keep an eye on the Soviet Union and see what ships it does have. So the October Revolution and the whatever that name is, it's uh, not a great ship actually. So it's 12 inch guns, 12 of those, 10 in a broadside and about five belt, five inch belt armor. That's pathetic. That's really bad. I mean, some of our ships aren't that great either, but still, I think we'd be very fine in a war against the Soviets. Here we go, Arizona has been commissioned, and then, our, unfortunately, our uh, guys do have, our scientists do have some troubles figuring something out. Isle 4 is being commissioned by the Soviet Union, so another aircraft. We'll have to keep an eye on that too. Uh, but we are finally in the black, so that's good. We are making some money now. And I think that means that we should actually at least think about the New Jersey class. Uh, let's open this for a rebuild over here and simply get a better fire control. So we do have currently directors. We're going to give it uh, improved directors, and that's probably going to increase the cost from 2 million to about a little bit more than th uh, 2 million. Uh, but you know what? I think this is fine. And you know what? We are going to clear all of these torpedo mounts because I simply hate having torpedo mounts on my ships, on my cavalry ships. Um, I think this is a very, very stupid idea. Right, other than that, uh, I don't see that much that we would need to change. We could, of course, change the guns and all of that, but it doesn't seem really like something that we need to do. On the other hand, we could increase the AA guns at least a little bit. Let's, let's call it 50 AA guns. Well, we don't have quite the tonnage for that. 40 maybe? Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, I think this is good. Let's save the design over here. Everything is okay. And indeed, we are going to rebuild this ship. It's going to take four months. It's going to cost a million every turn, uh, but it wouldn't take too long. And I think we're going to keep the New Jersey itself for now while the, what, the Wyoming is being repaired or refit. Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. We would like to do a technology sharing with a company in Germany. Um, I do not think that I want uh, Vital Technologies to go to the Germans, so that is something that we need to keep an eye on. Research breakthrough, that's nice. Shell die, so that reduces the penalty for more than one ship firing at the same target. Historically, of course, it was very difficult for ships to fire at the enemy and tell actually which flashes, or sorry, which... Uh, which splashes uh, were from their gun. So if you would see that you would shoot, let's say from the right over here and you would see your shells, uh, you would see some splashes landing behind the ship. You wouldn't necessarily know whether that was 
your ship firing on another ship, another friendly ship firing on this ship uh, and maybe overshooting. So it would be very hard to correct uh, the, the range and with dice, shell dice, uh, it would be a little bit easier to tell because if it was green splashes uh, then maybe it was you and whereas red shells would be some uh, other ship of your own line. So yeah, very good technology, very nice, uh, just gonna give us a passive boost and I think that's going to be okay. We have a little money left, so I think the New Jersey here can be uh, rebuilt to the latest upgrade with the better fire directors. That's going to be okay. We still have a slight, slight benefit here in funding. We're also getting a lot of corvettes. Ooh, scandal in involving the Germans. Yes, of course, we're going to use that. And another breakthrough. This time in armor testing. So this is just a gradual improvement of armor. This would only apply to new ships, so it doesn't... It's not that important right now. New Japanese torpedo bomber, which is faster than our current torpedo bombers. Uh, that's fine. There isn't necessarily a lot of point. Russia is building a couple of things. Yeah, there isn't necessarily a point in developing uh, the fastest torpedo bomber. Uh, it's a little bit different for fighters maybe, but for these guys it should be okay. Um, actually, Arizona, we should check. Do you have the latest? Yes, you do have improved directors, so that's fine. This is a very fine and excellent ship. The only thing that I do worry a little bit about is the number of secondary guns and their caliber. Um, it doesn't seem quite as useful to me, but no reason for refit, really. So yeah, that's fine. We are making one and a half million now. I think we can at least wait uh, one more turn before we commission anything new. Oil in Newfoundland, that's okay. Colorado is being finished. Yeah, a lot of battleships finishing and our Corvette, so that's all very, very nice to see. Reduced dot rates is also very uh, hopeful to see. And we do get a new news on the Sveda uh, Bovser Roshina, whatever, the Russian battleship, the Soviet Union battleship. It does have a higher top speed than we estimated earlier, and it seems like it does have a little bit better armor, uh, which actually is no surprise, really. It's It's... A better ship, I would say. Good. All in all, we are now, uh, since we have finished a couple of our ships, uh, we do have some money left now in the bank and, and some income left. We should think about what we want to do with that. We do have a lot of um, these Corvettes now. Their design is a little bit weird, but... Sorry, not for... Can I just open the design and change it? Yes, I can. Right, so these guys are really mostly anti-submarine warfare ships. I'm wondering whether we should design an alternative one with mine sweeping gear and at least six mines. Just so that these guys, they'd be a little bit more focused. You know what, we can actually... Huh. But they are less effective at this because they would have both capabilities. So we might want to go with the, let's call it Floridan class, really. Yeah, Floridan class it is. It's a small change from the Kingfisher, it's basically the same ship, except that it does have mine warfare capabilities instead of anti-submarine warfare capabilities. And I think that's going to be okay. So, yeah, let's actually save that. Ooh, okay, so you cannot actually carry mines. Okay, that's too bad. I thought you'd be able to. You could do still do mine sweeping. It's only 50 tons. Maybe it's more, more, more worthwhile to design a destroyer around that. So let's go ahead and design a destroyer. Let's actually start with the latest destroyers that we have. And they are probably from 1916 over here. So yeah, it's probably the Barry class uh, that we do have in that regard. It's a, it's a fairly, fairly big destroyer does have a couple of swivel mounts, uh, which I think is okay. Can we do a centerline swivel mount with four torpedoes, I wonder? Ship cramped, yes, that's fine. Ammo down, seriously overweight. So it seems like that would be something that would be allowed to do, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so that's fine. Um, let's delete the P mount and add it again as a four torpedo salvo thingy. That should be okay. Yeah. It's a lot better better data now, better guns. Shouldn't uh, I think this is okay. It's actually a good design. Don't have any secondary guns, we do have tertiary guns. 
Uh, let's include mine sweeping gear over here. The speed is okay. And I think we'd actually want normal accommodations in stuff Crant wants so that it can actually operate in, uh, well, abroad, basically. I would also like to do normal engine priority so that it doesn't, it isn't constricted as much. Uh, we don't need to do any coverage over here. We don't want any armor. We could do oil. That would save us a little bit of money, but it would also blow up the costs. Not actually by that much. Just 100,000. So I think this is actually okay. So let's see how big this ship would actually need to be. Total of 5 million costs. I think this might be okay. How about... Yeah, no, it's actually cheaper to do it with oil and use the lower tonnage. And I think that's okay. Could include some mines. 10 mines. Okay, would this be legal? Fire control is not the best. Ammo is okay. Well, we do have central firing. Why don't we use a director then? So it couldn't do mines, which is a little bit sad. But otherwise it would be a very good ship. Okay, let's increase it slightly. And do include mines. Do have a director firing position. Could do a little bit more on ammo. It's a fairly, fairly big destroyer, but on the other hand, I think I do like it. Could do secondary guns as well. There's no gun quality that is outstanding in any regard. But yeah, you know what? All in all, I think I like this. Very good ship. The Hopkins. The ones before that were uh, the Barry class. So I think that's fine. Ammo allowance is on the low side, but that's okay. Yeah, there we go. Design exists. Do you want to overwrite? Can I get another name then? Hull. Yes, there we go. Okay, fine. So we are designing the Hull class now. And it should be ready next turn. Well, it's not cramped accommodation, so it will be able to go a little bit uh, further abroad. And it will have mines and mine sweeping gear, so I think that's going to be in a very nice new standard uh, ship. A couple of ships are being readied, and here we go. We can now design the hull class, which costs us about 400,000 to construct one. So yeah, let's actually go ahead and design 10 or so. I think that's going to be okay. There we go. Finishing reconstruction, that's okay, all good and fine. We could think about re redesigning the New York class, but it's such a weird ship with these 12 inch guns. I really, really dislike it, so I do not think it does make sense to, to refurbish it. The Drayton, on the other hand, here, uh, we might simply want to. You have two firing positions. Extremely interesting. Yeah, let's just give it a new paint job so that it does get um, the reduction in... Ooh, really, really funny design. Okay, nevertheless, let's go ahead and do this uh, because otherwise these obsolete designs uh, will cost a little bit more uh, than would they would otherwise. And it's a fairly okay ship still, so can continue on using it. Obsolescence is indicated by these O's and all of these guys here odd mothball situation so it's going to be alright to do this. How much are we spending on research? I think we could increase the budget here slightly. We could also think about building new forts and bases and all of that. So we do have, right now have one airbase uh, I think in the North American East Coast. We might actually want to create an airbase let's say in Port-au-Prince on Guantanamo Bay. I think that wouldn't be too bad. Okay, so let's build a fortification in the area of Haiti. Yeah, I think that's okay. And we are going to build an airbase over here. Location Port-au-Prince. Or port au -Pas. Let's do port au -Pas. So we can, we'll be able to um, station a couple of aircraft over here. Scout aircraft is, is what I'm mostly concerned about. 
Hanuman channel should also be potentially guarded a little bit better. So over here, I think we have some guys in Philadelphia, I want to say, which is going to be okay. And I think we could design or build an aircraft facility in the Philippines. So let's build an airbase in the Philippines. Might as well do that in Manila. I think Manila was historically fortified quite quite strongly. So that's going to be a, a fine. Right. Yeah, there we go. Fine, good and dandy. Next turn. Some reconstruction going on. Not that much. I, I would have thought that we'd be getting into war a little bit more readily here. Uh, but yeah, for now we seem to be okay. Just two more months until a couple of the destroyers are being refurbished. And then very soon we will be getting all of these uh, destroyers on board. You guys are really good in anti-submarine warfare. I like to see that. So do we want to redesign anything over here? Can we actually design a light cruiser, uh, sorry, a light carrier. Can we auto design this? 10,000? How much sh aircraft would you actually have? 26. You'd be costing 30 million. You'd be having a couple of guns. This might not be a terrible design. Torpedo defense should actually go up, of course. Accommodation, normal, normal, medium. This seems like a decent ship. It's, it's not armored at all, but it does carry some aircraft. Some guns. This is overweight now because we took, put up the torpedo defenses, but that I think is something that we do need because that, of course, is, is the most dangerous thing for us right now at this point in the war. Hmm. On the other hand, we'd be too much overweight with this. And I think the only way to really bring this down, because all of this weighs basically nothing, uh, would be to reduce the number of aircraft. And at that point, it becomes a much, much less useful fly air uh, ship. It might be nice to get that. The charger. Santi, Charger, Nassau? Really? Hmm. What do you guys think? Is is this something that we should be using? I can definitely see that it wouldn't be too bad. On the other hand, what about the Pittsburgh class? We don't really have that many light cruisers. And a lot of them are actually on foreign station. I think we don't actually have a light... You know what? Let's build... Let's design a ship. Let's design a light cruiser. Um, let's already design that for a second, just so that we have a decent basis. And we're going to ask it to be for colonial service. And it should actually be only 6,000. Uh, that I think is okay. Good. Belt armor 3, that's fine. Belt extended, that's maybe a little bit on the low side. Definitely magazine box should be used. Don't think we want to use inclined belt. Conning tower is armed a little bit heavily. Can probably go down there a little bit. And that I think is okay too. Do you want to use torpedo defenses? I think, well, this would be mainly used to show the flag on, on colonial stations. Six inch guns, I think that's okay. Don't actually, we have some way to play around with. Can we actually use, um, let's say, aft center line double turrets? Can I use double turrets on? No, I cannot. Hmm, so that does get us, I mean, just in, in terms of forward firing, we don't have that much, so what about using these two as single turret guns? Cannot combine A, 1 and 2, but if we do it like this, 
That should work, shouldn't it? Yeah, it would. And how about the forward? Okay, so no, not no, no on the A. But how about C? Forward center line. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, is this ugly? I would like to get more forward firing guns. For the superimposed? Well, maybe. Port midships? No, no, no. Forward wing. How about E? This is E. You wouldn't really be able to fire forward, but you would have a, a wider broadside. On the other hand, this guy would be able to fire forward. And it is legal to use this design, so I think this would be a very good chaser. So if we do find some raiders, uh, we could put a lot of fire facing forwards, three six inch guns, which is okay. And yeah, all in all, I think that's fine. Do we even want to use dual purpose guns, uh, dual purpose guns down here? I don't think so. Improved director on two positions should be okay. Tertiary guns, secondary guns, AA. Seaplane hangers. I think this is an okay design. Not that much to ride home about, but I could of course think about reliable engines. A little bit too too expensive though, I think. Oh, were you? Were you? In, huh. Okay, fine. And maybe triple mounts over here, although I don't think that would be enough in terms of weight. So you know what? I'm fine with this. San Juan is also a good name for a colonial cruiser. So yeah, let's save it. Very good, dandy. It will take two months to design, so we have to be a little bit patient. Colorado has finished. They're working up. We have some research trouble, which of course is not that great. But yeah. Air construction is... Um, yeah, I think we can copy that. Philippines, yes, let's copy that. Ships finishing their reconstruction. And we asked in an interview which nation you see as the most likely enemy in a future war. And I think it's without doubt France. We have some trouble with France and that is okay. And we're going to rebuild a couple of these San Juan cruisers. Monthly bids cost about uh, 1.2 million. I think just... Well, four would be a little bit too much. We don't really have the money for that. Three... That would put us in the minus 1.5 category. Let's let's do two for now. San Juan, yes. That's fine. Who? Italy has stolen some stuff. Japan rebuilding a couple of things. That's fine. Let's look at the Almanac. So we do have 11 battleships, as do the Brits. Ours are a little bit more, more uh, high in weight. We are the only nation with a carrier for now, even though it's a converted one and it's not that great. Yeah, other than that, we are fine though. A couple of things building over here, just light stuff mostly. All of these guys have been refurbished, except for the New York class. And I'm not sure whether. It would be only 2 million. And it might be a better ship then, but it's not a good ship. It's a really, really ugly ship. Okay, let's build a couple of corvettes, kingfishers. I think we have 10 of them uh, so far. Let's build another 10, I think that should be okay. They'll be very, very valuable to protect our trade and all of that, so I think that's going to be okay. And to something warfare te technology, that's good to see, because that too will be protecting our trade. More research. Why is the why aren't the tensions going up higher or quicker? It's really interesting to see. Right, we should also check briefly our air groups. So in Haiti, they do have a couple of fighters, a couple of flying boats. I think this is fine. This is a good setup just for early recon, um, and it's not supposed to do much more than that. So I think that's okay. Could actually think about this situation up here as well because. The Soviets are currently our most likely enemy, and this would be a very nice place to, to cut through there. Yeah, let's think about that. Next turn. 
Not much happening really. Aha! Uh -huh. Germany. So Germany is offering an alliance. How do we want to react to that? We could enter such an agreement. No, I think I want to have the budget and the tensions. Uh, we're just going to take everything that increases tensions basically. And yeah, more budget of course is always great. And that I think that allows us to build um, a couple of more ships. So let's do build another San Juan. The very least one. Should probably get away with two. We do have enough for eight, eight turns worth of funding. And at that point we'll probably see some, some other th other developments. So I think that's going to be okay. San Juan, Charleston, Fresno, San Luis. We might want to rename these, uh, but I'm probably going to do that in between episodes simply so that they all get a uh, very relevant no 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 uh, so that they all get a relevant name that does make sense to us improved armor testing Ooh. france is making a lot of breakthroughs here at the same time right so what do we want to send we want to send of course a battleship so uh, there has been an uprising in the south american country in the focus of great power colonial ambitions we need to send a force to evacuate our nationals and protect our interest. What size should the expeditionary force be? So either very small, increasing tensions a little bit, a little bit more, or by a lot. We're of course going to go by a lot and that's going to break, uh, increase this by a ton. Aircraft carrying... Aircraft carrying airships? Interesting. That's a that's a very interesting proposal. I think I think this uh, the um, U.S. actually started out with this technology, and and they had these little mosquito fighters uh, that were below that. Italy has stolen some technology from us. That's no good. Tensions are increasing over here. Our budget has also been increasing, so we are not losing as much money anymore, uh, which is okay. Next turn. Ooh, synthetic fire control computer. Reduces penalty for own ship turning. I don't think that's a technology as such. Uh, sorry, a rebuild over here. No, it's not. Not that, but it does mean uh, that we are oil discovered in the United. Well, probably in the North Sea. North Sea. Double gun mounts on light cruisers. There we go. This is this is one of the things that does make this game so amazing because we've just been designing our light cruisers with a single gun mount. And now we're being told that we can use double gun mounts. And we're getting aircraft catapults on ships. That's great news. Italy has stolen something. We are going to protest against that and drive up tensions. So if we open this design, we could now go ahead and just get rid of this turret, this turret, this turret, and add one, two, I don't think the other one was superimposed, right? Yes, B. And uh, then add as double turrets. And that would basically mean an Im immense improvement in firepower, especially forward facing firepower. Uh, we would, of course, need to delete a couple of these turrets. And you can actually see it's it's a better, better weight ratio. Forward center line, midships. So yeah, we are concentrating twice the amount of firepower forwards. And we still have a broadside of seven guns at the very least. I'm tempted, I'm tempted to go for this design. You know what, for the colonial cruiser it's probably not going to be that relevant. But we are very soon going to design a very new light cruiser for our main fleet purpose. And I think at that point we'll probably uh, make use of these double gun mounts. Interesting. Fascist coup has taken place in Italy. Oh, what a surprise, isn't it? Battleship scare. The rising threat from Great Britain pursues Parliament to authorize immediate funding. That's very nice to see. Our people in Sumatra. Great Britain. I think we are going to issue an ultimatum. And that's probably going to... No. Great Britain is... How are tensions looking? Tensions with Great Britain is pretty high, so we might be going to war against the United Kingdom of all nations. And that would be a very, very active war. 
uh, because we are sharing a lot of colonial possessions or they do ha actually have a lot of colonial possessions very close to us so I'm very very intrigued to see how that's going to work out uh, for them but you know what that's going to have to wait until next time for this time I think this is a good place to put in a cut so not much happening this time really except for designing a new light cruiser um, but yeah very soon uh, a very new light cruiser for us fleet duty should be pretty good I think and that's going to be pretty brilliant so yeah and maybe war with the United Kingdom maybe war with the United Kingdom France and the Soviet Union at the same time let's see let's find out next time See, looking forward to see you guys. Bye-bye.